Hey guys, in my last video I asked you in a comment what kind of videos you wanted to see from me in the future and some of you said that you wanted to see what it's like to live in Singapore. Now today is the day of Thaipusam, a Hindu festival in Singapore and <laughs> even though I've lived in Singapore my whole life, this is actually my first time coming here and I'm really excited to show you guys. I'll tell you more about it in a bit. a bunch of roads yet just so the people can carry their cavities around and right now it's getting pretty pretty thick with people let's see how this goes a lot more than me about typhism so maybe you could like tell us what is typhism about like what's the point of typhism so basically it's actually a place that you actually um, do your to fulfill your vow to the lord Buddha and then basically in forms of like piercings and uh, giving him milk and also right. giving in your hair as well right so like you might have seen like a couple of people with shaved heads they have sacrificed their hair and some of the men here with piercings they've actually pierced little pots of milk on their bodies I it, it's insane I don't know how they tolerate the pain but apparently the more they fast the less pain they feel right yeah they're given a certain number of days they're supposed to fast like I believe it's about 48 days or something so they have to fast more than 48 days in order to not have any mishaps or anything happening in between the entire process quite a few different types of um, sacrifices. You've been seeing guys who have been pulling chariots uh, by hooks attached to their backs and we've also been seeing men who've been carrying cavities on their backs. These are actually uh, the Indian word for burden if I'm not wrong and these are really heavy. I read that they can go up to like 40 kilograms and they're all made of metal and they're attached to you using piercing so not an easy feat. And there's also some people who go around with a mouth block uh, earlier on, my friend mentioned that they also have to do a sort of abstinence from things and that includes talking. During this whole procession, they're not allowed to talk at all and yeah, and they're not allowed to drink tea. Yeah, they're not allowed to drink both alcohol and water, right? Yeah. <laughs> We've been standing here for about half an hour and I saw something which I never thought I would see. This guy was literally walking on nails. Yeah. He was like uh, wearing, what was he wearing exactly? It's, it's like a slip, it's in a form of a slipper and then they actually have nails on it. So they practically just walk on nails. Yeah. But they don't believe. You can't even handle a pedicure. you like kicking all over the place. <laughs> She's actually pierced herself before. That's insane. Where, where did you pierce yourself? Mine was on the forehead though. On the forehead? It was a very tiny piece. It's a tiny one. Yeah. So well, I don't really feel much pain in it. What was the process like of like putting the piercing in your forehead? So basically there will be a person that uh, will be in charge of, not in charge, like there will be a family friend who actually does the piercing. And oh. then, yeah, like any man who has got experience before in life person will be doing that. Oh. They will actually, together as men, they will actually chant some mantras in your ears which will literally make you numb your senses. Uh -huh. So when they actually pierce, they don't really feel much. And so they'll do the same process when they're going to remove the piercing as well.
Did you guys see the length of this guy's dreads? I think it's like twice the length of Louis. Just coming down this road right now. We're heading back for dinner now. We've been standing here for hours, I think, and my legs are getting tired. Also, uh, the number of people here are trickling down. The real crowd's back at the temple where the end destination is. So yeah, we're just gonna go chill now and have a nice meal. Hey, I just got back home a while ago and it's past midnight. I am so exhausted, I can't wait to sleep to be honest. But you know what, I had a lot of fun today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, really. Uh, before I end this video though, I'm really curious as to whether your country has any interesting or unusual festivals that is practiced over there. So if you know of any such festivals, it would be great if you could let me know down in the comments. I'd really love to hear about it. Yeah, but that's all for now. I'll definitely see you guys next week. Have a great week ahead. Bye!